Facts First presents This boy was ignored when he saw something under the bridge, but he still called 911. Man, don't you hate it when you're ignored? We don't like being ignored either, so please click that like button. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you won't miss any of our future videos. Children can be very observant, can't they? In many cases, they are more observant and intelligent than people give them credit for. And that's the case with Gerald Withers. This boy was ignored when he saw a shape under a bridge. But then he got home, and he called 911 anyway. Gerald was on the school bus on his way home from school, and the bus took the same route that it took every day. Well, on this day, Gerald knew something was off. While the bus was driving down Route P in Jefferson County, Missouri, he saw something out the window and decided that he'd better let the bus driver know about it. Unfortunately, the driver ignored him, just dismissed him outright. The bus driver told the boy what he saw was likely a deer that had been hit by the car and to please go sit back down. Well, Gerald didn't agree with this at all, wondering what he saw in that ditch was eating away at him the entire bus ride home. When the 11-year-old got home, his behavior worried his mother, too, Brandy Overturf. According to Brandy, her son often played football, basketball, or with his Xbox after school, but on this day he was very quiet. Brandy could tell there was something wrong with Gerald. When he told her what was going on, she didn't dismiss him the way the bus driver did. She knew her son, and she knew that he would not make such a big deal of something if he wasn't absolutely sure about it. Shortly after, Gerald called 911. He thought the Missouri State Highway Patrol should check out what he thinks he saw. And it was a good idea that he did, because the object that he saw was not a deer. It was actually a motorcyclist who had become badly injured when he lost control of his Honda CBR. The man's name was Billy McMahon, a 36-year-old man from Bonaterra. When Billy was veering off the road, he hit one of the bridge supports, and that caused him to be thrown into a ditch, and he couldn't move. If he had not been spotted by Gerald, he may have been exposed to the elements all night, maybe even freezing to death. Fortunately, Billy was wearing a helmet, but he was still seriously injured. When he was found, he was taken to Mercy Hospital Jefferson in Festus in an ambulance. According to the hospital staff, if Gerald had not found Billy, he would have died. Brandy was incredibly proud of her son. When she was interviewed by the local news, she said, "'Words cannot describe how proud I am. It's amazing. I'm proud of you, buddy.'" Gerald's grandfather, Bob Ruinger, also a motorcyclist, expressed his pride for his grandson. He told the local news that he always worried about others more than he worried about himself. Another person who wanted to thank Gerald was Billy. He wanted to let the boy know he saved his life, and he looked at him like a hero. When the story of Gerald's heroism got out, the Green Bay Packers football team also heard about it. They heard Gerald was a huge fan, and they believed that he was a hero too. So to thank him for his quick thinking and heroism, they sent Gerald an autographed photo of quarterback Aaron Rodgers. They also sent him a banner, a hat, and a water bottle. He also received a letter from the NFL team that read, it's our understanding that you are a loyal fan of the Green Bay Packers organization. I'd like to express our deepest appreciation to you. We would also like to commend you on saving the life of Billy McMahon from his motorcycle accident. What you did was very brave, and you should be very proud. What Gerald did was incredibly brave. If it weren't for him and his refusal to be dismissed by adults, Billy never would have lived. Billy owes his life to Gerald, and when he was interviewed by the local news, he made no secret of his appreciation for the young boy. He realizes he owes Gerald his life. He truly is an amazing kid. Gerald says that if he thinks that he sees something and he's dismissed, he'll fight until somebody listens to him. Gerald knows from experience that keeping quiet is not the right thing to do. Subscribe for more!